Coach Tony Ralston joining me this morning. Coach, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, not too bad. I wish the weather was a little better outside. But yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'm guessing the weather has not been kind to you this year some at times? No, it hasn't. Uh, we've had quite a few rainouts, but uh, our AD, Joe, he's, he's done an excellent job of getting those games made back up for us. So we haven't lost too many, but uh, we have lost, I think, after yesterday by five or six. So. And, you know, you look back on that, those are games that are huge, especially you look ahead to the sectional, because were any of those games against sectional opponents? Um, off the top of my head, I don't think so. I think we've actually played everybody on our schedule for sectionals. Uh, we've made those games up. So uh, as of right now, we haven't lost any sectional opponents. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the sectional. We're just a couple of days away. You drew the South Dearborn Knights for your first game. Talk about the matchup and talk about the sectional as a whole. Well, I think the sectional as a whole is a solid sectional. Uh, I think there's a lot of quality teams in there. Uh, I think Greensburg, Franklin County, South Dearborn, and ourselves uh, are probably at the top there. Um, and, you know, we're looking, looking for a good competitive game. Uh, I think we match up well with South Dearborn. They're well coached. Um, and, and, you know, we know it's going to be a battle. And the girls understand that, and uh, we're excited and ready for the challenge. You know, winning a sectional is, you know, would be so great. You've been coaching here for so many years. You've seen some really good teams. Talk about what makes this team so special. Well, this team's got a little experience. You know, we, a lot of these girls here have been, uh, especially my seniors, they've been playing for two or three years now at varsity level. Uh, we made the sectional final last year. Uh, we got beat by one run, and that, that stings. And uh, I want those girls to remember that. And uh, we're going to be coming out. I, I really feel like the last couple of days of practice, since we've actually got to practice, uh, we've gotten a little bit of a, a fresh start, so to say. Uh, I think everybody's feeling good about themselves. And, you know, especially these seniors, it's their last go-around. So uh, I expect a lot of good things from them. You know, you look at your season so far this year, you've had some really good wins beating rival Southwestern. You've had other really great games as well. Talk about what the season has been so far for the games you have played. Well, you know, it's been a little up and down. That's normal during the season. Uh, some things defensively I wish we'd done a little better at. Uh, you know, and, and, and just really trying to learn how your team shapes out at the end of the year. Uh, and that's been a big challenge for us coaches this year. So, um, But we've had some good wins. We've had some good games, you know, that we wasn't on the winning side, but we played pretty well. Uh, and I tell the girls all the time, our schedule is very challenging. You know, we play a lot of quality teams, uh, whether they're 4A, 2A, or 3A. I mean, we, we've got a lot of good programs around this area in southern Indiana, and, uh, and, and it's tough. And if you don't come out ready to play, uh, it's going to be a tough night, and for the most part, I think we've been uh, been pretty good at that. This is how many years have you been coaching Madison now? Oh, I don't know, seven, eight years, I think, <laughs> somewhere in there. <laughs> I, I don't keep track of that stuff very well, so uh, we we just take it day by day and year by year, and and. Uh, we really just, I really enjoy being around the girls, especially these seniors. They've been good to us. You know, you know as, as someone who's been involved with basketball and other sports before, whenever you have to see seniors come and go each year, it's always kind of hard, but each group is special in its own way. Yeah, and, and it is. And the biggest thing we teach them and try to is make sure they're ready for life outside of softball. You know, a couple of them are going to be able to go on and play softball and help with their education, which is great. But at the end, you know, are they good quality young ladies uh, and they're going to be productive in society. And, and I'm 100% confident this group sitting here is going to be that. Uh, they're very smart. They're going to be very successful young ladies, and, and we're proud of them. Is that what the kind of the message you teach them is that that comes first before softball? Yeah. I mean, we, we, we want to win ball games and do things, but at the same time, we want to teach them how to, you know, this is the way you act, this is the way you talk, this is, you know, how you walk and approach yourself. And, and uh, some days they don't like that speech, but uh, I think they really have taken to it. It and uh, especially these seniors uh, and I'm hoping the younger girls in the program you know look up to these girls and, and see how they act and, and continue that on and you look at this group of seniors here uh, big thing when it comes to a team there's only so much coaches can do but also whether it be girls or boys sport the players have to you know take some time in their own hands to get yes. better we, we, we tell them all the time you got to take ownership you know we've shown you the way all right we tell you how to do this we tell you how to do that 
at some point you have to take ownership in what you do and and uh, they understand that you know the amount of ground balls and fly balls and the extra pitching and the stuff that these girls have done you know in the last five six years through junior high softball and stuff I mean it, it is like crazy how many ground balls some of these girls have probably fielded in in five years I mean we're talking thousands and uh, it takes that if you want to be good you have to put in the extra time and effort to do that stuff. And, you know, when you hear girls wanting to, you know, hey, coach, can we take some extra time? It's got to make you feel happy. Yes, right? and then, yeah. and you know, that, that also goes to our uh, coaches here, you know, Coach Peak, Coach Hendorn, Coach Holt, uh, myself. You know, if one of us can't do it, uh, somebody will, and, and they know that. So we're always available. It doesn't matter day or night. You know, we unlock the cages, uh, unlock the door to the field, let them go on there. They have uh, all the all the uh, amenities at the field to use uh, at their hands. And uh, it's never, no, you can't get better. It's always what time. And, and that's a big thing, and I appreciate my coaches for that. One of the very, probably the nicest softball facility, really, you will find here in southern Indiana. They do a great job there. You know, you mentioned your two or three assistant coaches. You've had, really, for the most part, the same staff over the years. What have they meant to you during your time at Well, they, they do a lot of things. You know, a lot of people don't see that stuff uh, behind the scenes, the extra hours, fixing the field. Uh, Coach Maude that works on the field does an awesome job for us. Uh, but they do a lot of things uh, in the dugout, talking to the players, keeping their heads up, and, and doing things. Uh, so we, us coaches, I think we really work well together, and, and I really appreciate their time. When you look at, you know, again, we talked about the sectional South Dearborn. You said you match up well with them. What do you, what's your message to your girls going in? Because South Dearborn is a team that has been a very, very good team over the last couple of years. You also have a couple other good programs that are, though, on the other side of the bracket. So what's your message to them heading into the sectional? They, they understand we got to be solid. We have to play good defense. We can't give up extra outs. Uh, if we give up extra outs, it's going to be tough. Uh, you know, pitching, we've said we got to locate, uh, keep the ball at the knees and uh, you know and at the plate we got to have quality at bats and uh, if we can do those things uh, I th we've got a really good shot and I think we got a really good shot Wednesday and if we're able to move on then you know I think whoever we play in the finals uh, it's the same approach and and uh, I feel really good about what we got. Now we've talked with Coach Ralston a little bit time to talk now to the seniors and let's start with you young lady good morning. M morning. Okay, we'll start there. <laughs> just, just so people don't know who you are, what's your name? My name is Abigail Stidham. Hi, Abigail. Um, you've been playing softball for how long now? Uh, since T-ball, so four or five. Four or five? Mm -hmm. You know, is it probably one of your more favorite sports that you've ever played? Yeah, probably softball or soccer, definitely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you've played for Coach Ralston for four years. What's it been like playing for him? Um, pretty much it's always every day is something different. Um, <laughs> we're always doing something fun. We always have a good time at practice, and he always keeps the energy up. You know, you look back at your four years, you've had a lot of fun. What are some of the best memories you've had playing softball at Madison? Probably one of my best memories, probably all the bus rides with all the teammates. And any time we've had, like, our team's gotten together outside of the field and outside, and it's been pretty fun. When you uh, have a group, you know, no, no matter what sport it is, is camaraderie amongst the team an extremely important part of having a successful season? Yeah, I think it brings everyone together, and it really is an important part. Um, where are you planning on going to school? Uh, the University of Indianapolis. University of Indianapolis, what do you want to major in? Nursing. Nursing, excellent. Well, Abigail, good luck at the sectional, okay? Thank you. All right, that was Abigail Stidham, one of the seniors for the Madison Lady Cubs this year. Of course, we have quite a few of them joining us here this morning. Hello, young lady. Hi. What's your name? My name is Brooklyn Kaler. Hello, Brooklyn. How are you? Good. How are you? Not too bad. So talk about uh, the season you've had this year and what it's been like playing softball at Madison. Um, I've really um, enjoyed this year especially because I've gotten to know the girls a little better since I transferred from Shaw. Um, it's just been a lot more fun and outgoing and um, I'm pretty proud of how we've done this year. Um, there's times we could have done better but I'm still proud of how we play and the team that we are. You know you're one of the two, you're one of the pitchers on the team this year. How much has your pitching changed over the years since you've been a freshman? Even since last year um, it's gotten a lot better. Um, I've been working pretty hard at it so it's changed a lot. It's gotten a lot better, and I've gotten a lot more pitches. You look ahead to the sectional on Wednesday. A very good team awaits you, but what do you expect from this game? 
I think if we play um, with our good defense and offense and come as a team that we have a very good chance of winning for sure. You know, would that be kind of the ultimate pinnacle of your season is to win the sectional this oh, year? Oh, for sure. That'd be, that'd be amazing. You've had a lot of great highlights. What's been some of your favorite memories over the years playing for Madison? Um... Well, I definitely always enjoy the bus rides because we are always like playing music really loud and just being really loud and having a good time. Um, I also like um, home games are always really fun because we are always just like, even though we're getting ready for the game, we're also having a lot of fun with our warm up music and getting ready to play the next team that comes. Always get good crowds at home games. It, looks, it appears I'm sure the fans mm -hmm. have been great to y'all. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, where do you want to go to school at? I'm going to Lincoln Trail. Where is that? It's in Illinois, Robinson, Illinois. <laughs> Why there? Um, well, they offered me um, tuition and books to play softball there. So. Oh, well, congratulations. Thank you. What do you want to major in? Um, Pre-vet. Oh, well, congratulations, Brooklyn, Thank and best you. of luck in the sectional, okay? Thank you. All right, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Kaler, another senior for Madison this year. Of course, again, they're going to be playing in the sectional on Wednesday. Young lady, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing quite well. What's your name? Hannah Emmel. Well, good morning, Hannah. Um, uh, you, this is your third sport you play, so um, you're a multi-sport athlete. Talk about what the year has been like really not having any break from sports this year. Uh, well, I kind of enjoy like being busy all the time. Mm -hmm. It helps me stay like in shape and do all that. I just really like being on a team with a bunch of different girls and being able just to participate in multiple sports at Madison. How long have you played softball? Since I was four. Since you were four? <laughs> so, you know, you played, you know, for Coach Ralston for four years. What's it been like over the years? <sighs> Crazy, but <laughs> <laughs> we've had some good times. I was just it's been a little wild, so. Okay. <laughs> Well, there, there you <laughs> <That's good. laughs> All right, so we'll call it that. <laughs> so, so it's been crazy over the years, but you know, you, I, do, I can just look at you all like as you all are sitting here, and I can see the camaraderie amongst all of you, and I'm sure that has been great over the last several years. Yeah, we all get along really well. I mean, there's been times where we disagree on things, but it's definitely made us closer, especially as a senior group. Having so many of us, it sets a good example for the younger girls. One thing I remember when I was a senior in both college and in high school, when you're a part of sports, sometimes it's the fear of, hey, the end will be here. Do you ever think about, you know, the fact that it could be in a couple weeks, the season could be over, or do you just try to take it in the moment? Uh, I think we hadn't really thought about it that much until senior night, really, and we really weren't that prepared for that because we knew we were going to play, or supposed to play tomorrow, or yesterday, I mean, but since we didn't get to play, I think it kind of hit us all that we're not going to be able to play at the home field again. But now that sectionals is soon, we're kind of taking it day by day and just getting ready for that. Um, you look ahead to the sectional. What would a sectional title mean for you? Well, having one in volleyball, like being able to win sectionals in volleyball is really something special to everybody on the team. So I think having another group of girls get to experience that too would be really good and especially good for the coaches. Where are you going to be attending school? Uh, Indiana University. Indiana and Bloomington, what do you want to ma major in? Uh, most likely either business or um, pharmacy. I'm not really sure yet. Excellent. Well, Hannah, best of luck in the sectional next week, okay? Yeah, thank you. Hannah Emmel joining us now here. We are about halfway through the seniors that are joining us here this morning at the McDonald's on Madison's Hilltop. Young lady, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm doing quite wonderful. Thank you for asking. What's your name? I'm Amelia Hall. Hello, Amelia. So you are a pitcher for Madison. Talk about um, how your pitching has, you know, changed over the years, how much better it's gotten. Um, pitching has always definitely been a struggle for me, but since my freshman year, I definitely have improved tremendously. It always has ups and downs for sure, but I always enjoy doing it. You know, when you're considered, you know, the kind of one of the aces of the team, do you ever have do you ever feel a lot of pressure on yourself when this game starts, or do you just are you free out there? Oh, for sure, yeah. I definitely have a lot of pressure. Um, usually the first inning, I'm definitely really nervous, but I start to come into it as I keep going on through the game and pitching. Now, you, how long have you been playing softball? 
um, since T ball, so probably like four. Mm -hmm. You've been playing for Coach Ralston for four years. What's it been like with this group of girls? Um, it's been great. Um, I definitely have made a relationship with all the coaches and all the girls, especially the seniors. We're all really good friends. Hopefully we'll stay friends through college and everything. When you develop such a good relationship with the coaches, what does that mean to you even in the future knowing you can come back and you'll still have that great relationship with them? Oh, it definitely means a lot for sure because if you have a good relationship with the coaches, like they're easy to talk to. Like Ralston said earlier, they're always here for help if you need extra hitting or ground balls or anything like that. And, you know, you look back at everything they've done for you, you know, what are you going to miss the most about playing softball at Madison? Um, I'm definitely going to miss the coaches and being with all the girls. Um, it's been fun all four years. I've really enjoyed being with all of them. I've enjoyed all the coaches, so it's been really nice. And you look back, how, what are some of the best memories you've had at Madison? Um, probably, like everyone has said on the bus, but um, I've enjoyed having a good relationship with all the girls. Everyone gets along, so that's always nice. Where are you going to be heading to school next year? Um, I'm going to Spalding University. I'm actually continuing my softball career there. Oh, okay. It's in Louisville. Oh, yes, where do you want to major in? Uh, nursing. Uh, excellent nursing school down there yeah. so best of luck to you, amelia in the sectional next week okay thank you uh, amelia hall again a lot, of, a lot of girls already getting gonna be playing softball in college nice to see it so we're gonna now be joined by our next senior young lady good morning hi good morning how are you today i'm good how are you i'm doing quite wonderful thank you for asking what's your name uh, i'm nettie eigel well hello nettie hi <laughs> <laughs> so um softball again uh you're gonna be uh playing in the sectional next week what's your mindset right now uh, win. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, we've been working hard uh, these past, past few days in practice, so I think we got a good shot at it. We bring our A game. You, you look back over the years playing softball at Madison, what are some of the things you know, you're going to miss? What are some of the things you're going to remember about the program? Um, definitely the coaching staff. You know, um, They're always there before and after practice if you want to take extra. I'm going to miss Coach Henthorn hitting me grounders every day after practice, um, and I'm going to miss my teammates too a lot. You know, the camaraderie, again, amongst the coaches, amongst the team, how much better has that made, you know, your time at Madison? Uh, it has definitely been one of the highlights of my high school career. Um, the softball program here is tremendous. As far as, you know, the games you've played, you know, over your four years, what have been some of the more highlights that you've had? Um, last year, I think... Um, as close as we got to winning sectionals, you know, um, the first two rounds were definitely highlights. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There. <laughs> well, oh there well, go. I guess uh, winning against uh, Southwestern uh, mm -hmm. our sophomore year that was probably one of the best highlights too. I, I remember that game. <laughs> well, and you know, you you look ahead to the sectional next week. What's the message to your teammates? Uh, just play hard. Leave it all on the field. Excellent. Where are you going to be heading to school next year? Uh, I'm going to go to Hanover. Nice. What yeah. are you going to major in? Uh, kinesiology and integrative physiology. They have great programs for that. You'll absolutely love it. <laughs> all right. Well, Nettie, thank you very much for thank coming. Thank you. All right. So, Nettie Eigel, <laughs> another senior here this morning, and have one more senior that we're going to talk to here on this kind of drizzly Saturday morning. Young lady, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing quite wonderful. Thank you for asking. What's your name? Uh, I'm Aaron Lawfer. Hello, Aaron. Um, you know, you've played softball for how long? now uh, since I was four or since five, you were four or five. so um, you know it's been fun is this something you're gonna keep doing at the next level no I wish I would have I kind of regret not playing in college where are you gonna be heading to college next year Hanover excellent what are you gonna major in uh, pre physical therapy excellent they got a great program for that as well mm -hmm. um, you look back at you know your four years playing for the Lady Cubs and there have been so many highlights games with the girls what are some of the things that uh, have just really been such great moments for you playing for Madison. Um, almost winning sectionals last year was a pretty great moment for me. And making friendships with all the seniors and all the girls on the team, that was pretty good. When you go to uh, Hanover, obviously some girls will be at, one of the girls will be at Hanover, but some will be going to other places. Are you going to try to make sure you keep in touch with all of them? Oh, yeah, for sure. And, you know, the relationship you've had with the coaches, what's it been like with Coach Ralston, Coach Peak, and Coach Enthorn? Well, there's been some ups and downs, but I'm glad that they're my coaches. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So you look ahead to the sectional next week. Again, you were just really one run away from a title last year. 
what do you want to look ahead to this year? What do you think you need to do to make sure you can get over the hump? Uh, we just got to make sure we come with our A game, ready to play, ready to leave it all out on the field. And, you know, you got South Dearborn coming up. You played them a couple weeks ago. What are some of the changes you think you need to make? Uh, them? We just need to hit the ball a little bit better with people in scoring position and play some good defense. Excellent. Well, Aaron, best of luck to you next year. Best of luck in the sectional next week, okay? Thank you. We are going to come back, and we'll chat more with Coach Ralston right after this on Works 96.7. That'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> That's Taylor. Hey. <sighs> what? You there, AJ? I thought she was getting ready to Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say that, but I couldn't say that. Yeah. Oh, no. Big word. We like it, Eddie. You'll have to spell it. Yeah. Guaranteed, I don't know. Eddie, I had Eddie, Eddie, I had to turn down the levels a little bit on here when you started talking. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I have to say, yeah, exactly. I love it. I love that when you start talking, they start calling. Even five. Thank you. Welcome back to Coach's Corner for the final time here on Works 96.7 WORX. Jordan Bear here with you chatting with Madison Lady Cubs softball. Of course, we just chatted with all the great seniors that are here and a great group of girls that are here and, uh, as they go for a sectional championship next week. And, Coach, my goodness, you got a great group of seniors here. Yes, I do. We're proud of them. And, you know, you look back, you know, again, all the special classes. Is this one of the more special ones you've had? Yeah. Uh, and the reason I say that probably is uh, a little bit is because – when we first started here, the junior high program, we were able to get that up and going. And I've actually been around these girls since they were sixth graders. And, and I think, if I'm correct, uh, this is the first group that we've had come all the way through from sixth grade up that we were involved with and working with. So, I mean, I've been working with these girls probably six, seven years now. So uh, it's kind of hard not to get attached and, and care about them and this and that. So, uh, you know, the last couple years, I think they were, you know, we, they played eighth grade softball and stuff like that. But this is actually the first group that's been through the whole program process. And, you know, in the time, and you know, my time at least at the station living in Madison, you see this team just get better and better each year. Is that a credit to all the hard work that they keep putting in? Yes, uh, it's a lot of credit to our junior high coach. Uh, they do a great job, Coach Toller, Coach Bickers, uh, preparing them for high school softball. Uh, uh, a lot of people around here don't realize uh, how far behind we were. Uh, the, the feeder system wasn't there, and uh, we've created that and uh, along with baseball. And, uh, and I think the, the years to come, I think we're going to see better results because of that. And, you know, that's got to make you happy as a coach because obviously, you know, for you, you will, you know, assuming hopefully you all win sectional, you know, you'll have to say at one point goodbye to these, you know, to these seniors. But it's got to make you feel good that the future, though, is bright for the yes, program. Yes, we, we got to, you know, we're losing six girls. Uh, but I really like the, the eighth graders we have coming in. I like all the girls that we have coming back. Uh, and I was just telling them the other day, you know, that how much we've improved, you know, individually and as a team. Uh, some of these younger girls, uh, I think they're starting to gain a little confidence, get a little experience with varsity, and uh, I think that's going to show up here in the next few years. And, you know, again, you look ahead to next week. You've played South Dearborn once, and when talking with Aaron just a minute ago, she said, you know, runners in scoring position. That You said that's going to be – she said that's going to be huge for you all. Yes, and she's totally on spot with that. Uh, you know, we've had our chances when we played them. We had runners in scoring position. We just didn't get the hit, and that's part of the game. But uh, they understand that. we we got to have the focus at the plate with uh, runners in scoring position. we got to be able to find a way to get those guys in. You know, tournament time, no matter what tournament it is or e in big games, you know, the butterflies are going to be there. I've always yep. said if you're not nervous, then you're not ready. Right. But how do you at least kind of calm those nerves just a little bit? Uh, that's where I rely on my seniors a little bit there. Uh, they've been there, done that. They should know uh, how, to, how to act. Uh, how to get the younger girls to act and get them to feel comfortable uh, and to play loose. And then I think I think we're ready. I think the, these girls know what to expect. They know what the environment's going to be. I think we've uh, the last few weeks we've really had good crowds here at the field and some of the other places. Uh, and so we've been used to the big crowds. So uh, I think I think we're ready. 
and you know you look ahead to Dearborn uh, other teams in the sectional you got a group of seniors here I know uh, some other players are going to be listening to this what's the message to the team heading into next week uh, just focus you know do your job know what you're supposed to do know your role and uh, if you're on the bench or in the field you have to be ready to play you never know if there's an injury uh, or something like that comes about you have to be prepared and uh, uh, you never know when your number might be called, and if it is, you have to be ready. One thing I was taught when I was, you know, working with the basketball team at Hanover, we would always tell the girls, hey, even if you're not playing, we want you on the bench supporting, being yes. loud, and encouraging them. Is yep. that what you encourage it, your it, Yeah, we, we really talk about enthusiasm a lot. We tell them there's two things we can always control, and that's our effort and our enthusiasm. We can't control everything, but we can definitely control those two. And if the games that we really had good enthusiasm, uh, we played really well and uh, I, I expect us to bring that to the game on Wednesday. Excellent. Well, Coach, best of luck in the sectional next week, okay? All right, thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Again, Madison Lady Cubs softball joining me here on Coach's Corner this morning. A big thanks to everyone for tuning in. A big thanks to all the great seniors who joined me here this morning as well. They were all absolutely fantastic to talk to. For A.J. Bramer back in studio, this has been Coach's Corner. Live from the McDonald's, I'm Madison's Hilltop on Works 96.7.